Now I am going to show you how to install the PHP MySQL and PHP MyAdmin on the Mac operating system. My operating system is Mac and I can easily install those things using the terminal. That means I will run some commands and then I can install those. If you want you can use the jam or if you want you can use the mem server or any other tools like that in order to use the PHP and MySQL on your computer. But in my case I am not going to use any tool. I am going to install PHP MySQL and PHP MyAdmin without any tool. So in order to uh, install that you will have to install first the home view. So Homebrew is actually a, a package manager in the Mac operating system. So just go to this website brew.sh and then this page you will see. You will see there is a code here. You will just have to copy this code and then in your terminal you will have to run this code. As I already have installed the Homebrew on my operating system so I am not going to install it. You will have to just use this code and press enter and then it will be installed on your Mac operating system. So when the brew is installed, you can easily use, uh, use the brew commands to install the PHP and other items. Here what are the PHP latest version? I am going to install the PHP first. So I am going to show you what are the PHP latest versions. If you go to the php.net then downloads.php, you will see the current stable PHP version is PHP 8.3. And the old version is 8.2, then there is 8.2 on a lot of other versions. So here in the terminal, if you want to see if there is any version installed on your computer and just open the terminal and then put the command php minus v you will see that there is no command not found php that means php actually is not installed on this computer now here i am going to show you a doc file here you will see install php system is this that is brew install php so if you want to um, install the latest php version that is php 8.3 then you will have to just tell here php uh, here is brew brew install then php if you do not mention any version if you just write the php it will in install the latest php version that is php 8.3 and if you want to install any old version then there is another command that you will have to use that is brew install uh, shivam method uh, slash uh, php then php at the rate of 8.2 if you want to install 8.2 you will have to write here 8.2 if you want to install 8.1 then you will have to write here 8.1 so this way so i am going to install the php latest version now so just write the command brew install php and then press the enter then php is going to be installed on my computer it can take some time so just wait for it to be installed and in which location it is actually going to install the php the location is actually here is a finder you see there is a finder icon in the mac then from here i am going to the top go and from here i am going to the home here you will see there is a opt opt folder okay so here i am going to see you see the home view of course this location can be changed on your mac operating system uh, so here in my case it is actually going to be uh, it is actually is installed here the php will be installed here that is opt homebrew then there is a etc folder and there is a php so in your operating system just search where is actually the etc folder it is very important so you will have to search for the etc folder so where you will get the folder you will just you have to use the path uh, and search um, the uh, PHP into the ETC. You see there is a PHP, it is installed, PHP 8.3 comes here. So in the PHP folder, you see there is a 8.3. When there is no PHP, this PHP folder actually does not exist. But as I have installed the 8.3 now, so a folder is created here that is PHP and into there you get 8.3. So it is installed. If you want to install another version that is brew install php you see then there is brew install this one so i am going to install 8.2 also so i am going to copy this from here so going to copy it and then again going to my terminal and paste this command enter you will have to wait for some times uh, like before and you will see that here already 8.2 folder comes so just wait for some times yet yes it is uh, installed okay 
so uh, this thing is installed on here and if i want to use the 8.1 also i can also use here 8.1 enter you will see there will be another folder that means 8.1 version will come here so just wait for some times and the 8.1 will come so it is going to be installed uh, just wait for some times you see yes 8.1 now comes here in this location so total three versions are installed here in the php so who is version i will use this is very easy in the case of uh, terminal command you can easily i am going to clear this terminal now and then i am going to show you how to shift between php versions and here i also write my location is this so that you can easily understand and this is actually all the available version will be list so i am going to put this one that is brew list so here i am going to terminal and paste it here you will see that uh, here are php uh, only php means the latest version 8.3 okay and then another one is installed 8.1 and another one is php 8.2 so all the versions that are installed you can see here uh, using this view list command so after that if i want that i am now going to active only php latest version then what i will do what version is already um, uh, already enabled in order to check i am going to check php minus v so you will see that the current active version is php 8.3 so i will uh, show you uh, how to run my application using the php 8.3 now you can now run uh, the P, uh, your application in, in php 8.3 because it is successfully installed how i can check it you see navigate to the directory where you want to store your project and run the php building server using this command so this is a very important command you see that is localhost using this command for example i want to run the php in my desktop okay for uh, when you will use the jam tool or when you will use the mem tool there is a ht docs folder and you must have to put the folder there in order to run the application but in this system how i install the php this is more easy because i do not need to have any place where i must have to put my php files i can run the php files from anywhere for example this is my desktop here i am going to run an application here for example in the php folder there are some items here i am going to create a folder okay so this is for example a test folder so into the php there is a test folder and here i am going to create a php file so i am going to run a command task command to create a file for example index.php so into the test folder i just have uh, make this file index.php now i am going to open my vs code editor and opening this here so in my php uh, index.php i am going to run something like that echo i am running i am now running php 8.3 okay so whatever you want you can put here so this is actually or, or here i can just put no version i am now running php uh, that means it should work well now how i can run this application here you see this is the main uh, folder that is my project folder test folder okay so just right click here new terminal here i will have to run a command that is php minus s and then localhost and for example you can put any port here for example 8000 so you see a development server is running so i can just use this command in my browser to run that php file so like this i am now running php so that is working perfectly if i want to check the version for example here i am going to create another file that is task version check.php and now in this version check.php file i am going to open with my editor like this version check so here i am going to run php info this function and now if i run this file version check what will be happen version check.php right so here i am going to run version check.php enter you see the current php version is php 8.3.0 now i want that my application should run into the php 8.1 or 8.2 how i can enable it i can easily do that using the command here okay so here what are the commands i am going here here i write the commands that is 
the brew unlink unlink means the current version i will have to unlink first then link a new version link means it will be run uh, now okay so here for example now it is running php so i am going to call brew then unlink so i will unlink the php and then uh, the php 8.3 is stopped and now i will link hot and uh, then uh, sorry not it here then i will link hot i will link php uh, at the top 8.1 for example so okay so if i now run this space um, this is not running i will have to stop the server probably uh, so i am going to stop this terminate and then i again run this server that is yes localhost okay so let's check it you see now the php version is 8.1.26 so now the php is running in this version that is 8.1 so in this way if you want back again so what you will, you will do this is very easy so if you want back to the php latest version you will just have to do the same thing that is you will have to unlink now php 8.2 and then you will have to link now php that means 8.3 so link php now i am going to stop the development server again now that was here running so i am going to close it okay and then again i am going to run here the terminal and this one now if i run it you see now it comes again that is php version 8.3 so the latest version is again running here so in this way you can easily install the php on your computer now after installing the php now i am going to install the mysql in order to install mysql i am going to copy this one that is brew install mysql i am going to open a new terminal here because in a terminal the php is running you see here it is running so i am just uh, going to open a new terminal and then write my course here that is brew install mysql just press enter it is going to be downloaded and installed on my pc and then after this i am going to run this one that is start mysql service so i am going to copy this and when it is installed you see this is installed and now i am going to paste it and now the service is started successfully started mysql after that you see secure mysql installation i am going to copy it and then i am going to run this here here you see it is asking me a password but first time when you will enter here actually there will be no password just press enter and then it will work but i have set up a password in this pc earlier because when i am going to make a tutorial for you but before going to do that i uh, installed it on my mac first time so in that time i set a password here one two three four five six seven eight one two eight okay so that password i am going to give here now one two three four five six seven eight then enter you uh, are seeing that estimated strength is this uh, when you will first time set up the password then there will be total three strength one is low another one is medium another one is high i selected the password strength as low that means uh, minimum eight character and one to eight this is okay for the low strength password no problem so it is asking me if i want to change the password for the root if you want you can change the password again uh, that is one two three four five six seven eight you can change it but i am not going to change it so i am going to press any key here then it is asking me remove anonymous users if i want to remove anonymous users you can just press y but i am not going to do that so press enter again uh, disallow root login remotely yes i can just press yes and remove test database and access to it okay yes i am going to press it reload privilege tables now i am going to press yes y now all is done so my sql installation subject is complete now i am going to install the php my admin in this terminal i am going to paste it brew install php my admin then php my admin is going to be installed after installation i will create a symbolic link so i am going to copy this one here then you see it is installed then paste it here enter password this password is actually the system password that means my macbook login password i am going to give here then enter yes this setup is done and then start php my admin what i did in the case of php you know i started here the localhost uh, 8000 
and similarly here i can create another one php but here minus t so php minus s then localhost it is okay just after that i will have to start this one minus t and then opt a home view share php my admin okay so i am going to copy the full code from here and now i am going to start this server so i can access this server instead of uh, localhost 8000 i can put here that is 8080 enter you see the php my admin comes here okay and here my password is root and here password is 1234567 click on login you see the php my admin now comes and it is working perfectly now if i create a database name here for example test database this is my database name okay but here is no table that is completely okay i am going to open one application now uh, from my computer uh, so from here i am going to open the config file so here i am going to bring the config file so this is a database connections config file so i am going to copy it and here i am going to paste it in my main index.php and here my database name is test database you see if i do not give any password here it will show an error if i now go here and here refresh the php you see the connection error right so access denied for uh, root and localhost so you must have to give a password if i give a bad password that actually is not uh, my password using password yes but connection error so connection is not going to get so here i am going to give the real password now 1234567 now if i go here reload it again there is no error anymore that means the database connection of my sql with the php is working perfectly so my php setup is completed my sql setup is completed and php my admin setup is completed and everything is working perfectly